something and vapor up and some decongestant. And I'm gonna beat this cold person. Mike, you know what they say. What? None of this stuff will shorten or cure your cold. There is no cure for the common cold. No cure? No. But have you ever wondered why? Why is it that they can cure major diseases like polio, smallpox, meningitis, you name it, but they can't seem to come up with a cure for something as simple as the common cold? Well, all infectious diseases have one thing in common. They're caused by microscopic organisms like bacteria or viruses that enter your body. Protecting your body from these invading microorganisms is the job of your immune system. Your immune system works just like the security system in a building. Its function is to constantly monitor the various blood vessels, tissues and organs of your body for anything that looks suspicious. If it finds something that doesn't belong, it attempts to remove it. But removing unwanted microorganisms is easier said than done. The problem is, once an intruder gets inside your body, it multiplies. And multiplies. And multiplies. Before your immune system has even had a chance to mount a proper counterattack, there could be millions of them in your body. Oh no! They're everywhere!
so it keeps a record of the virus on file. Kind of like taking a criminal's mugshot. If this same virus ever shows up again, your immune system will be ready for it. So the next time, your immune system won't be caught off guard. It will launch a faster and more effective counterattack. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! All units have seized immediately. Level 4, east wing. Intruder alert! was in the vaccine. So why not design a vaccine that would protect us from the common cold? <coughs> well, first of all, the word cold is just a term we use to describe a certain set of symptoms. Runny nose, stuffy sinuses, nagging cough. And secondly, there's more than just one cold-causing virus out there. There are actually more than 200 different viruses known to cause cold-like symptoms. And that's just the ones we know of which means you'd need more than 200 vaccines to protect you. Imagine what that would be like. There you go, Mike. Thanks. It's one down and 199 to go. What? Mike, you're going to need all of these to protect you, at least against all the cold viruses we know of. Well, Purchase, maybe I'll let my immune system fight its own battles, OK? Bye. Yeah, but, but Mike, we, we're not done. Imagine that this balloon is a single bacterium. Some antibiotics weaken the membrane that surrounds it and cause it to pop like a balloon.